Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in for this video. I'm really pumped to be telling you about my new hair series. Um, I've been trying to think of, you know, a way I can work in more hair dupes, and I was talking with some people on my 24-7 chat room on my blog, and a lot of us were saying how, you know, what you do with your hair is often dictated by what the weather is, whether it's rainy or windy or just a regular nice day, you know, that's going to sometimes determine what you do with your hair. So thanks to all of you who gave me the great idea to put together a series um, along the lines of that concept and today is the rainy day hairdo. It's really I think really cute and could totally be a dressed up look or just an everyday look. Um, I'm really liking it. It's super easy and quick to do so um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and keep on watching. everybody. The first step is to pull back this front part so we've kind of got like our bangs and everything out of our face and we know we don't have to worry about it you know getting unsecure and flying back into our face if it's rainy and windy and nasty out like that so I'm just taking a little bit I'm going about a section about you know from here to here across my forehead and just gather that up you may want to tease your hair here or you may just be comfortable with kind of securing it like this and then giving it a little push forward like that that sometimes works for me especially if I'm in a hurry you don't always need to do all that teasing so then I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure that and take another one and crisscross it like you're gonna make an X and it's surprising how secure this method can be if you're not used to doing it. Crisscrossing bobby pins, it's the way to go. So anyway, you get that there. I mean, you can take one of these pins like I like to use a lot and sort of adjust how you have that pulled back. You can pull up, you know, certain parts of that or make it a little more or less poofy, whatever you want. And then I would go ahead and just spray this at this point. And you can also further kind of adjust and style after you uh, spray it. So following that, you want to kind of smooth down. If you have any short layers like I do, you want to sort of smooth those down there. And then pull your hair to a ponytail right here on the side. And you may need a brush for this, or if you've already kind of brushed all the tangles out of your hair, you can probably just pull it sideways. And I'm actually kind of covering up this ear here. So once you feel like you've got it smoothed, you're going to create a ponytail basically just behind that ear. And obviously whichever side you prefer <laughs> is cool. Just go kind of low, like just down a little bit and below that ear would be great. Okay, so now you've got your cute little side ponytail, which you could totally go with and uh, leave and go, or you could curl it at this point, or you could curl it before you started and have kind of like a curly side ponytail, or what you can do is twist this around and do a cute little bun. This is going to be different in terms of actually, you know, twisting around and making the bun for all of us because we all have different lengths of hair, or some of us have curly hair, or you might just have your own special way of making a bun. So I'm just going to demonstrate one way. Um, to do it here and basically I'm going to twist my hair around and you'll notice that once I get to the end I've got this extra hair here so like I've twisted it around once and I got this little tail if you can see that I'm just gonna try to tuck that under the bun okay I'm pushing it right back into the hair that I've twisted around and then I'm gonna take this clip I'm gonna go back behind my head here and actually clip it from the back and just kind of get up on the bun just a little bit, a little more than you might think you need to. And we're basically just, it's a matter of kind of stuffing the hair right back there in the bun. But there you go, that's basically what it is. I've got a little bit of my ear showing there, I meant to have that covered up, but I think I just pulled a little bit of the, there we go. I pulled a little bit of the hair, you know, a little too tight around it. But go ahead and give that a quick spritz of hairspray all around your bun and all around the top and wherever but that is basically the look you're working with here it can go dressy or it can be you know you can poof it out a little bit more and make it more casual or kind of crazy looking or pull the bun down even lower that's totally an option too but it's just a cute way to to work one of those sideways hairstyles if you don't want to deal with the ponytail and just have it all kind of pulled back so um, I hope you guys like this look and have a great day